Where we were speaking about it was indeed uh, how often you have a feeling <coughs> uh, and you know what it is, uh, but to explain this, that we don't want to, uh, in our recorded, recordings, we don't want to teach or uh, say mm -hmm. how things are, are going, but just to be honest uh, about how we experience things. Yes. And if we go to another level of uh, being, then we are speaking to other parts of ourselves, mm -hmm. actually. Yes. Yeah. And the understanding of that, mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, isn't it? It's yeah. a good topic. Yeah. Because I, all, I think it starts with, with the knowing of, of oneness. Yes. That everything is you and you are everything, every particle. So to express that, that you also... Uh, yeah. But how exactly what you're saying now, what kind of shift in perspective mm -hmm. that is. Yes. Because uh, the whole personality or the way you were used to live, mm -hmm. you didn't look in that way. Yeah, yeah that's the first thing we've uh, often said that um, uh, what we wanted for all of us is to come from the we perspective rather than the I perspective, okay. not not the, uh, uh, that we put the um, the whole uh, uh, in front, like, no, not not to do the benefit of the whole of 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 all of us here. For example, when we do something, rather than one certain personality, I need that, I want that. But that's something we try to avoid as much as possible to, to, to really look at uh, the needs of the whole, to, uh, because we are a whole. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as long as we say, I want, I need, we're coming from a personality perspective, I, I think, and then it's very easy to click into those old patterns and, and um, yeah, old, old habits of, of the personality program. Whereas if you really start thinking from the oneness, because we know that in theory that we mm. all one, but in order to really experience that, we have to express that. Yes, mm -hmm. especially for experience. <laughs> when you were saying this, I had to, I uh, <laughs> think it came up, that was in the very early teachings that uh, the Yeshwan, um, Yeshwan Sant explained about every time you use the word I, mm -hmm. that uh, the I of the I am, the, the one, mm -hmm. so the, 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 and uh, I remember for a long time I didn't dare to say because I got the difference mm -hmm. what it meant. So if you speak uh, the I, uh, what you want is a personality, mm -hmm. or you speak from uh, as that one point of consciousness, yeah, expressing the whole, mm -hmm. um, you use that I. So it was for a long time I hardly dare to use the word I anymore. I thought, what I'm doing? But it's a circle of awareness, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same of that what reminded me of, of the fact that he, at some point he said, every time you say, I can't <laughs> yes, so similar. To, to write that down because there's nothing you can't do. But if you say I can't, you I can't something, I don't know, I don't you're basically reaffirming the whole personality program. And so he's he he that was actually an exercise he gave uh, everyone and, 
to write down every single time you ca catch yourself saying, I don't know, I can't. And how many times that actually happens during the day and ha what you're doing with that. Mm -hmm. Namely, constantly pulling a past experience or a past belief system, mm -hmm. basically, into your now moment, therefore prolonging that belief system. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these, all of these things, it's, it's uh, indeed how we express ourselves, mm -hmm. um, how we word things, is often so habitual. Mm -hmm. Even, even um, uh, things like, oh, it's beautiful, it's, it's lovely weather today. That, that, that uh, is, is bypassing the fact that we are the creators of our reality. Oh, yes. It's oh. like, oh, you're surprised. Oh, it's lovely weather. To, I mean, these little yeah. things. Yeah. Um, it, it's in all of that. It's, yes. uh, I, I've, so, yeah, that's it's just one way of um, really being aware of how we say things. So yeah. I understand what you yeah. mean with to go back to what you said in the beginning, um, that you didn't there to say I because of what it implies yes. in a, on a personality level mm. and really interesting and so important to, uh, to let the ego go actually everything of it and it's not that you're going to lose anything you, you, you're even going to you know what I mean yeah, yeah. Because often the mind said, oh, if I, if I need to let go of this, it's, it's all the attachments, the attachments, yeah. yeah. But that's the whole that thing. That doesn't mean anything. No. Mm. But that's the whole thing with the ego mind personality construct. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, that's uh, the very, f well, um, the, yeah, the very first, was, what was the first teaching in the, Cosmic Manifest, uh, what used to be the Cosmic Manifest in the, the study of vibration, but um, it used to be called Born in Abundance, mm -hmm. you remember? Yes. Uh -huh. And the, the thing that was big there was letting go. Yeah. But um, to truly understand what letting go means, that it's not that it's really everything, it's, it's not, not only on a, on a uh, letting go, it's uh, letting go of attachments. So, uh, as uh, um, Ascended Life has also said, if you, if we wouldn't have attachments to people and things and, uh, and events, um, if we would have a neutral uh, relationship with all of that, there would be no need to let that go, because then it's not attached to us. But because we have all these attachments to people people and, and things, if we don't deta de detach from that, I mean, if we don't let go of that, um, we won't get into the neutral state. And so it's not only those um, physical things, but what is much more is the belief system, the belief system. In, uh, inside the, 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 the habits of personality, all these things that mm. Uh, a personality is so invested in this is me, this is how I am, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, and all of these mm -hmm. things. I mean, it's a gazillion things. So, uh, Doya Dasanka said, uh, We just have to let go of the belief and belief system. <laughs> yeah, and it's it it true. Well. But it's, yeah, <laughs> it's true. Um, and I, I'm sure there is people out there who can do that in one go. <laughs> to be honest, it, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still letting go. <laughs> so, yeah. These are the things we ponder on our cup of coffee. <laughs>
when you were sharing one of the things that came up also about letting go, uh, how much it has to do with uh, understanding the illusions. Yeah. Once you understand uh, the illusions, then there, you don't, uh, it doesn't feel like letting go of things. Uh, yeah. Um, once I understood that letting death actually is for me letting go of um, the, the, the the personality, mm -hmm. the mind part. So mm -hmm. that that it's that that actually means the death of oh, it. Yeah. And there's nothing scary about. <laughs> and I never felt that mm -hmm. as scary or, or whatever for me. Yeah. One would never leave. I never had to. Yeah. A lot of people didn't understand why, why I didn't have to cry or so. Yeah. Uh, people, yeah, you would be touched. Uh, sometimes you would miss the physical presence of someone, but. Uh, yeah. It always felt like not the end. But yeah, so they were always there. Yeah. I was also just thinking when you brought up delusions, um, we know about the illusions. So actually, as long as we, I, I, then I see how often we keep them alive by choice. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Whatever it might be, because if we know, um, I, yeah, I don't want to bring up an, uh, an example but it's 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 often that I mean you can you have to say that if we still keep up all of these things it is a choice because we know better mm -hmm. oh. and another thing I thought about we can speak about all of this all the uh, details about the personality but one thing we <laughs> have simply to practice the mm -hmm. the three steps that Pakwanyan San yes <laughs> let us start with eh? mm -hmm. so if we just I, and I noticed that for myself that I'm okay no and and that's where the pure will comes in mm -hmm. and just yeah. to focus no uh, don't stay attached to all the drama eh? for because mm -hmm. oh damn it's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, and that's where I find myself. Okay, here it comes down, and it slows me down also. Where I, yeah, because if you choose for that, just no, that, what is, just breathe that, be with that. The simplicity yeah. of nothing comes before, and nothing, nothing comes, comes after. after. If you really, really have that in your being in every moment, then this is what you express. And, and, and it, it really helps because how many times, as he said, how many times uh, a day do we catch ourselves where this is, okay, yes, back to the basics, back to what is real, mm. what is the true. Being the true building block, also in, in um, perceiving the other, also in wanting to see the building blocks in everything, yes. rather than uh, um, feeling offended by something someone says or whatever it is. It's also because underneath that all is the creator self. Mm -hmm. And is or every nothing can be created if, if it's not from the uh, from the building blocks. Mm -hmm. So that's also is part of the pure will of um, wanting to see it differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if someone else expresses something personality based or whatever it might be. But then it is also, it's always up to me how I perceive things. Mm -hmm. It's always the self that 
is in the driver's seat on that level that I can choose mm -hmm. whether I want to see that as um, uh, how, how I want to perceive that. Do I want to see the building blocks underneath? Mm. So that is for me also something that I'm still working on in mm. trying to uh, perceive things differently. Yeah. yeah. And this is where the interpreational relationship yes, comes exactly. in. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 The Amazon, please join. I will. Here, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come here. here. Come and sit here. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? <laughs> well, we're sharing some really good stuff, I can imagine. Well, there was a lot of uh, joy and levity. <laughs> I heard laughter when I came in. Yeah. And why shouldn't reality creation be jovial and fun and happy <laughs> and all of those good things? Yeah. Did you talk about sun? No, you never mentioned the word sun. <laughs> <laughs> really? You want to say something about sun? Yeah, because I wanted to share something, you know, okay. something that just a little part because I, I'm coming in here cold, but. Uh, you know, I, I really love one of the uh, Ascended Teachings by Tapako and Yin San um, for direct students um, and all my subscribers <laughs> about being a, um, about uh, uh, the focus on um, becoming the creator self. Mm -hmm. So like, I read that or, or listen to it a lot because for me, it's like, uh, I know we have a lot of, over the years, many how-tos and do this and do that and all kinds of wonderful tips and things, but for me, that sort of really sums it up. It talks about San, which everybody I'm sure here has already talked about, the active ingredients in some way um, of reality creation or the building blocks of reality, 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 which are love, joy, freedom, truth, life, gratitude, grace, and well-being. I've heard them in all of our session journals. I've used them a lot. Um, the thing that I really love about that uh, is um, that San, it, there, it's really very clear that San is what creates reality. San is what we are. Mm -hmm. And I remember a few years back when the concept of San or that word actually, because we've always had like love, joy, freedom, truth, etc., and, and, and all of that, but uh, the, con the word San was introduced and we were writing responses to uh, uh, quotes and, and articles in, on the website and we would sign off like Insan or you know we would talk about being Insan and I remember actually it was the Oyarasanka in, in, in one time well, I, said, I wish people would stop saying that and in that moment I sort of got that I think he's talking about the fact that we are son. <laughs> he didn't say that, but I think that's what he meant. So I kind of tucked that away <laughs> in the back of my awareness. And over time, and especially recently, it's, it's really clear and in this teaching, um, the Bakuyin Son makes it really clear. So that's what we're here for, mm -hmm. um, embracing the Creator Self, the yes. one infinite Creator. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do that, then... Um, I think uh, reality creation can pour out of us in a different way than if we think about it, <laughs> you know, from, from that perspective. Exactly, it is about, it's about putting it into practice. Yeah. It's not about thinking it into it's practice. about being it. That, that never really works. <laughs> thinking it into practice. That's true, that's very true. Thinking it into reality, thinking it into practice in order to create reality from okay. your practice. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of silly. Opening the eyes of the heart. Yes. 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 That's oh, that's yeah. a good yeah. one. That's, that's, uh, good one. Yeah. yeah, that's the difference, the shift, mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, I think that's a beautiful way to, uh, to end this to conversation, end this conversation for now. Okay. Opening the eyes of the heart. Yes. yes. That's a good way. Sanakei. Thank Sanakei. you for including me, Sanakei. Sanakei. <laughs> Love to everybody.